Hello everyone. We're up to number four in the series, and in this episode we're going to disassemble the Y-axis, which includes the saddle and the Y-axis lead screw assembly. Just like in the X and the Z-axis, we're going to start by removing the handle. A single nut in the center of the handle is removed, then the handle slides off, revealing the shaft key. Once again, I implement my specialized shaft key removal tool, which makes short work of the task. I found there was a bit of a burr on the edge of the keyway, which prevented the bearings from sliding off. I hit it real quick with a file, and then I was able to remove the outer bearing. Next, I took the two cap screws out of the pillow block, gave the pillow block a few whacks with a soft mallet to loosen it up, and then the whole assembly came off the shaft along with the inner thrust bearing. I put a zip tie through the thrust bearings and the pillow block to hold it all in place. With the pillow block and bearings removed, the saddle and lead screw assembly were free to slide on the ways. I backed out the gib adjustment screw from the front and screwed in the rear gib adjustment screw to push the gib out. With both the pillow block and the gib removed, the saddle was sitting very loose on the ways. Next, I loosened the two cap screws, securing the lead screw nut to the saddle. Once the lead screw nut was free, the lead screw dropped down, but there still wasn't enough clearance for the lead screw nut to drop out of the saddle. As a result, I unscrewed the lead screw from the lead screw nut, allowing it to fall free, and then I was able to remove the whole assembly. As an aside, a couple days after removing the saddle, I found a brass pin on my workbench and wasn't sure where it came from. While I was in the process of taking a picture of the saddle for this video, another pin fell out of the saddle. It was only then I discovered that they were the pins for the gib locks. Here you can see the two pins in the lower way. And here I pushed one of the pins up for a better look. You can see the pointy end of the pin goes against the gib. And that completes the disassembly of all three axes on the mill. The base and the column look pretty humble with all the parts missing. In the next video, I'll start the installation of the CNC kit, starting with the Z-axis. Subscribe if you want to follow along.